Hello, YouTube dual turntable collectors. This is a classic dual 1214. Made in Germany. Um, these, this is a Canadian version. It has the Electrohome badge. In Canada, there were two distributors, Noresco and Electrohome. Electrohome had the best consoles of that era. They always had, the earlier ones had a dual 1010. Then through the 12 series, the later ones even had dual 1228s inside of them. Um, this is in a standalone plinth, which is rare for Electro. Most of them are in consoles, but they did sell some separates. And I have a matching receiver to this, which is very cool. I'll do a separate video on that, made in Kitchener, Ontario. Uh, there's not anything really different about the turntable except an E-badge back there. And this one here had been sitting for years and years, part of an estate sale. And what happens with these, the lubricants either dry up or gum up. So the automatic wasn't working very well. It wasn't quite up to speed. But the condition of it, even the either wheel, which is neoprene, wasn't sticky. It was still firm with a little bit of give. Um, I find these dual idler wheels really aged well. So I removed all of the lubricant every different pivot point and bearing and relubed it either with turntable oil or the appropriate grease and so let me just show you how smooth this is to start put it in a start hardly even have to touch it these just have such nice smooth action and it had the original sure cartridge on it the needle was in bad shape, so I put a Audio Technica VM95C, which is a perfect match for these. Just a perfect match. It's conical, which is fine, but it matches the geometry of the arm. Fits perfectly into the head shell. The bolts fit properly. Um, but what's critical on these is the height, and it's exactly like the Shure, it's the same height same half inch type of cartridge and it sounds great I'll just show you a few of the actions on this the cueing is really nice you can move it over where you want whoop comes down beautifully put new uh, silicon lubricant in there and the stop action hardly even touch it over it goes I have the dual strobe disc on it and the markings don't show up on video but with the pitch control sent, uh, set at the center it is right for 33 rpm took a little bit of adjustment of the pulley to get it centered um, the other thing with the motor it's a four pole synchronous motor and the motor that's in the bottom of this it has enough torque it could run a box fan I mean it's just amazing the motor that they put in these and what I kind of like about these is, I always use the carbon fiber brush. This is a vintage one from the 80s. Um, I'm, I like to brush it while it's running to get the static off of it and any extra dust. And a lot of the newer stuff, the belt drives um, especially, they don't have enough torque. You just touch the carbon fiber brush and it slows right down. This one doesn't. It has lots of torque heavy three pound platter anyway I just thought I'd mention a few things about these um, these la I mean this one here has a 1969 date code on it um, they were like at 50 years old it took a little bit of lubrication to get it going a little bit of cleaning took the motor apart it will go another 50 just an amazingly well-built product Anyway, thanks for watching and listening.